Hey everybody, welcome back to Forsake, and I want to do something a little different. Uh, I mentioned it a while ago about showing people how to take off a personalization. Say you buy an autograph that you've been looking for, or you can't get anymore because the person's passed away, and it says to Mark or to John, and you know you are neither one of those people, <laughs> and you'd rather take it off. So I'm going to show you how to the way I've learned how to take a personalization off, or even an autograph, or any kind of marks on there. They've done. Uh, extra with a sharpie. Uh, I'm not too sure about paint pens. Uh, I think you gotta use maybe like a little harsher chemical. But as far as uh, the different sharpies, I'm gonna show you how to do it because that's a lot of what people use. Uh, paint pens you can kind of chip off. You can kind of scratch off or whatever like that. It still won't look that good. But uh, I'm gonna show you how to remove sharpies from glossy and matte photos. I actually have a glossy right here because he had to cancel so I had an extra one of this so I have a glossy and the mat I'm going to use is actually a mat we just got in and this is how much I trust what I'm doing uh, an actual autograph for Herbert West I'm going to put marks on it with another marker and then take it off I'm not going to touch this I'm going to be over here so no worries but this is actually a mat you can tell it still has like a bit of a shine to it but there's a matte finish on it so there's a texture and then this is just a pure glossy so I'm going to show you how they will take both of them and I'm using, we'll use like a peach color, we'll use a black, I got like a silver gray, we got a nice neon, and then this yellow. We will all stick them on there, we'll be able to take them off. I'll show you that, they, you know, after it dries and everything. But what you're going to need, most of all, and it's a brand thing, I think, to me, I use Expo, the dry erase marker. This is what we're going to use to take the autographs off. And I'll show you how and stuff like that. It's actually really cool now I had to learn how to do it because uh, not only is Chesley a huge Hocus Pocus fan she is also a very big Beauty and the Beast fan so for Christmas I got her three autographs I got her Beast Gaston and Chip well Beast and Chip and she hates this her name is Chesley C-H-E-S-L-E-A Chesley a lot of people see that and just automatically in their head think Chelsea so that's how both of them spelled her name. I got them personalized. So I got Beast in. It said Chelsea. I got Chip in. It said Chelsea. Gaston got it right. So I appreciate that. So I panicked. I didn't know what to do. I was like, uh, I could leave it on there and her want to choke the life out of me because they are not spelt right. Or I can do my best to figure out how to take them off. So that's when I started my research with different stuff. Some people use chemicals. Some people use their stuff. I, this was the safest way I tried. And... It felt like this was the safest way to go about it because I didn't want to destroy the autograph. But we're going to get to doing this and I'll show you how to do it. And if you feel like nervous, you know, actually doing this and stuff like that. Uh, now this works on matte and glossy. Don't do, try putting it on like, you know, a, a paper poster or anything like that because I do not believe it will work. <laughs> I do not know how to get those off. Uh, start with just a little bit. How I did the whole line, just very start with the very edge. Get it wet, wipe it off if it works and you feel comfortable with it go ahead with the rest of it all right we're gonna start with the glossy and we're gonna do uh, a mark of each and then we'll move on to the matte and then we'll do a mark and then we'll come back to the glossy to give it enough time to dry but let's see if it shows up I don't really show up that good this looks good. it's just that weird marker they're not dead they're just pale let's see Oh, this black should show up. Put it right across his forehead. Alright, we got black because the other one didn't show up. <laughs> and let's do silver. God, none of these are showing up on here. What the fuck? And they're not dead. No, they're not dead. Well, see. Yeah, I didn't do the line green yet. There you go. It was not showing. I'm trying to see it. You can see it on here a little bit. Alright, we got black and lime green. The other ones are not going to show up. Yellow is by his cheek. And then we have like a peach. And then the gray just didn't show up at all. But we're going to let those dry. And I will show the end result of Chesley's whenever. I'll show some pictures of what hers looked like after I got done with them. I'm doing my sleeve so you can see them good. Bob 
people have, they're kind of showing up on the sleeve pretty good. Now this one's matte. Or silver. Well, gray, because it's not turned up silver. Uh, of course, I'm covering up his autograph, so uh, I don't damage it. But and as you can see, here's my finger. It is not. This is not going to smear or come off at all. So, I'm going to use a paper towel. But the only thing you really need is kind of a soft chamois. That's kind of what you want, so you don't scratch the photo at all. But you saw the black, you saw the and you know it's dry, not coming off. And my best advice is to do it slowly. You just kind of here is the green. Now this is on glossy, so. Now it could take you a few passes to make sure you get it up. Like, if you think you see some of the green or the residue still left, just push a little bit more extra marks on there. And just wipe it away. And there you go. That's on glossy. Let's do this yellow right here and get it off here. Now basically, I don't, I'm not a chemist, but the chemical, whatever's in the Sharpie and whatever's in the Expo, that the Expo marker will get the Sharpie wet again. And allow you to be able to just kind of wipe it off and don't worry like say you go away and we'll go here we'll leave this mark on his face and go to this one and as you can see here these are dry It works on metallic too. I just don't have metallic markers. I thought I did. There's that one. He's got the gray. And I would say take your tip and do little small circles like I was doing. Kind of helps break it up. as I'm doing I'm just going back over because I think I see a little more residue and this is a, just a dry paper towel I'm swiping it right off there and there you go that's how you can get you a and this one's matte like I said this is how you can get your personalization off there or mark you don't want on there anymore and like I said I was brave enough to put it on one that's already autographed now let's go back over to our glossy let's see if this is dry no it's not dry but it is just wiping right off. But what I was going to say about the uh, you know leaving it to dry, if you accidentally had to walk away from this or whatever, you could uh, just come back, get it wet again with this marker, and just wipe it right off. But now I'm going to show you the two that I had to do for Chesley and clean them up and stuff. And if you liked everything, please like, subscribe, and I hope this helped. Uh, hope to see you guys next time.